Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Technology Mafia, and today I'm finally getting around to reviewing the two most popular fixed focal length lenses for the Sony E-mount system. So A6000, A6300, and the new A6500, as well as the older Nex5 and Nex7 cameras. The two lenses are the Sony SEL50 f1.8 and the Sony SEL35 f1.8. And these two lenses are very similar, however, they have some differences as well. So let's take a look at what they look like up close first, and then we'll go into looking at some sample photos from each of these. Here are the two lenses next to each other. You could see that the silver one on your left here is the SEL50. The black one on the right is the SEL35. The 50 is a little bit longer. I'd say it's maybe one and a half times as long as the 35 millimeter lens. The front lens of the 35 is significantly smaller like around the back. And the mounting side is very similar. The 50 has a nice thick focus ring. It's very easy to use. And the 35 has a decent sized focus ring as well, just not as thick. Overall, the 35 feels a lot like the kit lens. The 50 feels like a larger lens. Both of these lenses are light. Neither one of them is going to weigh you down or slow you down if you're traveling. So a good question to ask is why would you want to spend $400 or $250 to $300 on either one of these lenses in comparison to your kit lens? I'm planning on doing another video about that question in the future. So if you are curious as to why you would want to spend money on either one of these lenses, check out that video that should come out in the next couple of weeks. But the very simple answer is you want professional looking sharp images with that background blur called bokeh. So you want a fast lens to do that. So both of these lenses are f1.8, which means that they let a lot more light pass through them than the kit lens. And that results in a better image in most circumstances. So let's go ahead and move over to the computer and I will show you some shots with both of these lenses. So we'll start here. This is a 50 millimeter portrait shot of my wife. And you can see the background on this 50 millimeter lens is nice and creamy. The subject is sharp. Image overall looks very good. The colors are good. Let's move over to the 35 millimeter lens. You can see immediately how much wider the 35 millimeter lens is. However, you still have that creamy bokeh and the subject isolation is there. Now, to make this a little bit more fair, what I did is for most of the shots, I moved my tripod forward with the 35 millimeter lens to imitate what it would look like if you were standing closer to the subject using the 35 millimeter lens versus standing further away from the subject and using the 50 millimeter lens. This is what the 35 millimeter lens looks like. And you could see if you put the two images next to each other, almost identical. There's very little difference between the two of them. In this image, the 50 may have a slight advantage in sharpness, but it is very small. In fact, if you move in and you do 100% crop on the 50 millimeter, this is the image. And if you do the same thing, 100% on the 35 millimeter, you could see that the two images are almost identical. Second image here, so you could see both backgrounds are blown out. The 50 millimeter up close, you could see sharpness is there, the detail in the hair, focuses on the eyes, so that's spot on. If we move over to the 35 millimeter, focus is still there. Both images are pleasing to the eye. And if you're using this to print photography, to print anything but large posters, you will be hard pressed to find a difference between the two images. Okay, third shot here, kind of a more wide portrait. Very little difference between the two of them. Nothing major that you could say that one is better than the other in colors. I think that the colors are equal with the 50 millimeter and the 35 millimeter. Sharpness is about the same. The 50 millimeter may have a very slight advantage in sharpness, but the 35 keeps up. Let's do a shot of just some buildings here. So here's the 50 millimeter lens. Let's move over to the 35 millimeter lens. You could see how much wider this shot is. Now, if we were to zoom in, just to show you center sharpness, here is a 200% crop of the 50 millimeter lens and the same crop of the 35. You could see very little difference here 
when it comes to sharpness. You could say that the 50 is a little bit sharper, but it's very hard to tell in these images. And these last two images demonstrate how narrow the depth of field is on both of these lenses. The 50 millimeter image looks a little brighter, but that's because the sun was shining more directly on the object. The 35 I shot when there was a cloud above. So I think that in both of these cases, the sharpness is there. You could see that the depth of field is slightly narrower on the 50 millimeter as it should be. And you could see more of, in this case, the watch and the band with the 35 millimeter. More of the object is in focus on the 35 millimeter image. All right, so what is the conclusion? Well, you really can't go wrong with either one of these lenses. I've found that since I purchased the 35 millimeter, I've never gone back and reached for the 50 millimeter lens. And that says a lot, because I've had the 35, I think for three or four weeks, and I've been using this lens a lot. Now, the depth of field is narrower. So what that means is when you're focusing on a subject, because this is 50 millimeters and it's f1.8, you have a space of a maybe, maybe a few inches to focus on someone's face. The depth of field is narrow, but not as narrow with the 35 millimeter lens. So what I've found is when I'm taking pictures of objects, let's say I'm posting up something on eBay and I need to take a picture of something, I will use the 35 and get more of that object in focus, even if I'm shooting wide open at f1.8. With the 50 millimeter, you'll get maybe the front in focus and the back is gonna be blurred out which is useful in some circumstances, in other circumstances, it's not. The other issue with the 50 is that indoors, it's very difficult to use this lens because you have to step further away, especially if you're taking pictures of large groups of people, even if it's just four or five people, you really have to step you know, 15 to 20 feet back. Whereas with the 35 millimeter, you do have to step back in certain circumstances, but most of the time, you're able to capture everyone. So this is a much better lens if you're taking group photos. I think that overall the 35 millimeter is more versatile. It's a lens that you could put on your a6000, a6500, a6300 and you could carry around, you could travel and you could have a fast prime lens that you could use for a little bit of street photography and some portraits. You're not gonna get any wide angle shots because it's not wide enough to get those shots. If you're just gonna be doing portraits outside, buy the 50 and you'll be very happy with it. If you're planning on doing portraits and group shots and maybe some product shots and some indoor photography, I would recommend the 35 millimeter. Colors on both of these lenses are excellent. I found in the images very little difference between the two of them. Sharpness is about the same. The 50 may edge it out slightly, but the 35 is right up there. In some shots, the 35 is sharper. Other shots, the 50 is sharper. The focusing speed on each of these is quick. The 35 is slightly quicker, but we're talking milliseconds, nothing that you'll really see in the real world. Both of these lenses are excellent. I'm only planning on keeping one of them. And as you may have guessed, it is going to be the 35 millimeter lens, because as I said before, Ever since I got it, I really have never reached for the 50. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and if it was helpful, please hit that thumbs up button. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and stay tuned for future videos. Thanks for all the support, thanks for all the comments. If you have either one of these lenses or if you have both and you have some other opinions, make sure to type that down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot, have a nice day, bye-bye. And I wanted to play around with it a little while longer just to be, and I wanted to play, <laughs> and I wanted to, <laughs> and I wanted to play around with it a will, a will, a will, a while longer. I'll do it. And I wanted to play around with it a will, <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs>